What up, folks? Travis here to review the Carter Three, the big, big Lil Wayne album, the one that I've always appreciated. Um, really, really one of the best, most iconic rap albums of the 2000s. Um, this represents the the whole bling era of rap. Um, this this cash money records thing was pretty present in the mainstream at this at this time. Like everyone couldn't get Lil Wayne out of the radio, especially with tracks off this like Lollipop, Millie. Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, this this album is fucking sick. Um, a lot of people call it his best, and that that's pretty understandable, you know. This shit is really consistently great. The production is key. That the beats on here are key to the legendary status of this album. Um, just every production choice that he made was perfect. Um, on three Pete, it starts off with one of my favorite Lil Wayne songs, three Pete. Um, it's always been my, one of my favorite Lil Wayne songs, Three Pete Rules. Great structured song. Uh, his delivery is incredible, and on top of that, the beats are just iconic. Uh, then it goes to the Jay Z feature, Mr. Carter. Great track, really iconic shit. That's another single. It's pretty damn popular. Um, Amelie, the big one, the big, big one. Amelie, Amelie, Amelie. What can I say? It's a fucking fun track. Like, I don't know how anyone can dislike that track. Um, Amelie, Amelie, Amelie. Like, his flow, his lyrics, the rhyme scheme is great. Um, just the way he raps is so cool and likable. It's obviously really accessible shit, and that's kind of the only thing I can see going against it, that it's accessible. Um, and it's the T-Pain feature, Got Money, great track. Uh, the Babyface feature is awesome. Um, Babyface is a legend, legendary producer. Um, Dr. Carter, great track. Phone, phone home. Uh, yep, great track. Time of Hands. Mrs. Officer is a great track, one of the best. Um, Let the Beat Build is epic. Shoot Me Down, great. Lollipop, it's another big hit. I think that's actually one of the most popular Lil Wayne songs. Um, understandable, it's pretty fucking catchy shit. Um, La La, Busta Rhymes, epic track. Uh, Pussy Monster is great. Um, don't get it, the fucking 10 minute outro, dude. Um, yeah, it's iconic. But I can't really call this a perfect album. A lot of other people can, I just can't. So I'm just gonna stick this with a 9 out of 10. Check it out.